What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grubb here, the Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure you go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 15,000 subs, I would really appreciate it. But me and my dad are back out here on the ice. We were out here yesterday, we caught one pike. Um, it was our first day out here yesterday and we stayed back in the bays and the canals where the ice was thicker, but we had ventured out here to the main lake and the ice is crystal clear guys it's kind of sketchy honestly or it's scary you can see right through the ice but it is pretty safe it's around like four to six inches but it just doesn't look safe just just because the ice is black there's no snow on top of it but we managed to get out here we set up all our tip-ups and we just finished set setting up our sixth tip-up of the day and we look over and there's a flag so we're gonna head over there. It's way across, probably like a hundred yards away. So it's gonna take us a second to get over there just because it's just slick ice on top. We're trying to be careful. We don't wanna fall and break our, our arms or anything that would suck. But we're gonna head over there and hopefully we got on a big pike. We'll see you guys over there. Well guys, we just made it over here to the flag. And it looks like there's a fish on here. It's tilted pretty good. All the line is out. There's one on it. Feels like pretty big. There's a ton of weight on it. Yeah. First tip up of the year for me, guys. Pretty pumped. Yeah, there he is. Oh, yeah, there he is. It Big looks like bass. a bass. Big bass. Oh. <laughs> the heck? Check that out, guys. Probably like a three and a half pounder. Maybe a four pounder. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. First sweet. fish of the year for me is a largemouth bass out here on the ice. That is super cool. Right there on that sucker minnow. We just set this up probably around like 15 minutes ago and we look over and there's a flag so we're just getting out here too it's around like probably 10 30 11 o'clock so we're gonna be out here for a little while but super cool fish guys you don't have to be in florida right now to catch largemouth bass <laughs> it would be nice though to be in the sun but I'm gonna get this bass unhooked and put him back all right guys there's that bass again we're gonna put him back Super cool first fish of the year for me through the ice. There he goes, swimming off guys. Hopefully you can get on a couple more fish today. First fish of the day was super cool though. Um, we're gonna get this tip up reset. I think it was like anywhere from like 10 to 12 foot of water here and he ran out all the line. There's a ton of line on here too. So gonna get it set back up and hopefully catch some more fish today guys hey we just got done setting all the tip-ups guys uh, we got a minute we don't have no flags right now and let's give you guys a little tip I mean you may know this but it's kind of a thing that we used to do to uh, help out a little bit quicker checking the depth of water instead of using your auger or if you only got a spud it's a pain in the butt spud in the hole and then trying to figure out the depth but if you got electronics, you only can do this with electronics. So we got to mark them. And here's the transducer right here. It's flat transducer, which I would obviously all of them are, but it only, it only works on clear ice. So you go to clear ice, and you don't have to spot a hole or do nothing. And it's better to have a little bit of water on you. You put a little water, I'll turn it on. See, I'm already reading the bottom. It's real clear ice. See, I already got it, but to help it out, if you're not getting a good reading, just pour a little bit of water like that on there and put your transducer right in there. See how it lit up now? See how over here, not really lighting up as good, not getting a good contact? Well, you put it on that water right there. It's just like putting it in the water after you, uh, do a, a you know auger a hole so just a little tip to make things quicker when you're setting up tip ups and stuff you can just check the depth real fast 
you can only do it on clear ice mainly there's you know when it's not clear ice there's too much confusion with the transistor i think not being able to read right through but when you got clear ice like this to make it quicker just pour a little bit of water on on the ice and then put your transducer right on it and you'll read just like you're in the water after you cut a hole or drill a hole. A little tip to help you guys out be quicker about setting up. Well, just got another flag. It was just spinning. been out here for probably what do you think dad a couple hours been out here probably a couple hours had one flag earlier this morning we caught that bass so that was pretty sweet and we just had this one but it was a false alarm so we're gonna set it back up we think that the it's getting pretty windy out here we think the wind um just pushed the flag up so we're gonna keep sitting here hopefully stay warm it's pretty cold out here right now but hopefully get on a couple more guys it's been a pretty tough tough couple days only a couple fish so far this year but we'll find them we're just gonna keep moving spots try to locate where all these fish are because one year we came out here we've had we had like I think almost 30 flags in one day. It was the craziest ice fishing I've ever done, honestly, but I don't even know how many pike and bass we caught. It was crazy. And then the next couple days we had 20, 30 flags again. So that year was just pretty crazy. I caught one of my biggest pike ever. I think it was like 38 or 39 inches, almost 40 inches. So it was pretty cool. but. We're gonna get, yep, it's better than sitting at the house. Maybe we'll get on another one, guys. We're gonna keep sitting here, waiting it out. We'll see you guys here in a sec. So guys, we just looked up and there is a flag over here. We're walking over to it right now. It was just spinning pretty good. So hopefully there's a big end on it. I'm gonna pull it up real quick. Thumbs on it. I think it's another bass. He's doing like bass head shakes. Oh, he's off. Unless he's coming this way. It just popped off. Really? Yeah, it was a bass, I think. He was just shaking his head like crazy, you know? You could feel it. Shake back. Yeah. <laughs> I just felt him pop off. Dang it! <laughs> Rookie mistake. You don't catch them all, guys. Dang it. That sucked. Middle still on her? Hey, yeah, man, I'm still here. I guess you can see a little mark maybe where he got hit. See that? Yep. <sighs> That's depressing. <laughs> all right i guess we're gonna set this back up we're gonna be out here in like another hour i think so there's a flag over there really maybe they're gonna start hitting <laughs> all right we're gonna head over to that one So, we're approaching the next tip up. We just set that other one up over there, but it looks like there's one on it. The tip up's like sideways where the fish was pulling on it. Is 
fish. I don't know. I don't feel anything. Unless he's just not fighting or something. Uh, there's not one on here. <sighs> something yeah. took it. Yeah, he ran all the way He ran a ton of line out, dove down in the weeds. Come on. Looks like the tail's almost bit off. Uh, the tail's pretty much bit off. Alright, let's reset it. Another flag is up. It was just spinning like crazy. Hopefully I don't miss this one. That'll be three in a row. Alright, rookie. Have at it. I don't feel anything. I think he got off. Reset it. Oh dang. He yeah, ran out all, all, all the line. Yeah. And went in the weeds. We actually, with this tip up, we put a little um, soft plastic swim bait on there just to give it a little color. It's a chartreuse swim bait. We figured maybe it'd do something, and I guess it did. It That's didn't sweet. hook the pike though, that's for sure. That's alright. Let's drill another hole. Like uh, five feet away since it went into the weeds. Alright, over and out. Another one. Down. So guys, we actually just made it back to the truck. We pulled all our tip-ups. Um, it's getting dark here soon. Like I said, we usually, um, sometimes we'll sit till dark, but usually we'll pull them around like 30 minutes before dark just so we can get back home and everything. But I think tomorrow we're going to try to get out here super early we tried it this morning we slept in so we're gonna try it tomorrow maybe wake up around like 5 5 30 and get out here at dark and have all our tip ups set up as the sun is coming up but it was a pretty fun day out there i caught my first fish through the ice this year my dad caught that pike yesterday so that was really cool but we had a ton of hits today six flags or five flags something like that and we only got one so that was pretty weird we usually i don't know what happened a lot of those fish were pulling out all the line and i don't know they just got off somehow but maybe tomorrow is the day we catch a giant we'll see you guys in the next one stay tuned